Welcome to Sports and Wine with Dre and Shorty. We got the neighborhood. Neighborhood watch star. Yes, sir. Don't be annoyed. Don't be annoyed a bit. Um, <laughs> already annoyed. Nice watch uh, coming in. We got a special. I don't want to say it's special. Kind of sad, I guess. Nah, it's special. It's special. It's special. It's special. It's special. Um, it's special. We're going to talk about a little bit of uh, David Stern's passing and what he meant to the game of basketball in the NBA. Yeah. His contributions. Mm-hmm. Um, 30 just, years worth of it. Yeah. Watch you start. What was your, what do you, what are you going to remember most about him? Well, you watch kids? who's, who are the top big men in the game right now? Top big men? Na- name some, game? name some great big men in the game right now. Embiid. Okay, Embiid. good. Embiid. Okay, good. Stop there. Wait, 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 no, 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 good enough. Don't understand. Don't, 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 don't overthink this. All right. Well, who are, who's, who's a front runner for MVP this year? Giannis. Yeah. Okay, who else? LeBron. Who else? Embiid. And he is not in the race of MVP. And not Harden, Jimmy and Butler. No, but you should just say it. Who, 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 who plays in Dallas? Oh, yeah. Look, don't change. Look at Dodgers, yeah. right? And who who plays in Dallas with him? Chris Hans Perzinis. My point is, my point is this: this 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 guy made it possible and took the, for a lot of people when they talk about the NBA. They don't realize how kind of small and kind of almost had a local feel mm-hmm. the game did. Yeah. In the 60s and 70s. That when he took over in 84, this is a man that came with a vision and then ended up making this a worldwide game. He did. And then you had the ability to see players like Vlade Divac and Tony Kukoc. Uh, and then later on, you got to see Manu Ginobili. Mm-hmm. And you got to see Tony Nowitzki. Parker, Dirk Nowitzki, Steve Nash. Mm-hmm. Um, that wouldn't have happened without a really great visionary at the helm. Yeah, yeah. Huge David Stern um, was ahead of his time. David Stern dealt with issues, right? He dealt with um, Magic Johnson, right? Yeah. He dealt with the Mouse of the Palace. Yeah. Right? He dealt. He he dealt with so many things throughout his tenure. He had everything controversial surrounding Michael Jordan in his era. I mean, he 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 made the he set and made the dream team possible. He did. Right. And that, this was all under his. Vision for the game. He knew what the dream team would do for the game of NBA. Exactly. Basketball. It was, it was a movie. Yeah, yeah. 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 How them going to Athens and everything. And it was a movie and he was a director. And you know, he, right now, he knew the script. You know what I'm saying? That he knew the script. As you, as you sidetrack, sidetrack a second, is where MLB has, the MLB has a really hard time at promoting talent, right? And getting young people involved, right? Because it's not seen as a cool sport. Well, David Stern in the '90s was like, "Look at these guys! Look at everyone! And look, let's let's highlight a Grant Hill, let's highlight a Penny Hardaway, let's highlight a Gary Payton, and let's let let's let's get young people as involved and as into this product as possible in the states or worldwide. Worldwide, well, there's the no states. cooler person than a basketball player. They, player. It's, it's a player's NFL. It's a player's yeah. league. You when, see when, LeBron. Yeah. You know these people. When you talk about Baseball, though, and you talk about the youth and the kids, I feel like baseball has always been such a global game. You know what I mean? Like, you no, no, no. The, so the, international, the international portion, I'm not, I'm not debating. Okay. But it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's like a lot of reports are showing that there's viewership issues, and specifically amongst younger people mm-hmm. and baseball, right? And you know, the thing I was looking at is there was a breakdown of the top 10 pitchers of the decade, um, and the top 10 pitchers are all white, mm-hmm. right? This, Chris Sale's a great player. Clayton Kershaw, obviously. I'm not saying that there's anything of a skill level. But when we don't have... It's like, diversity. Fuck. Like, like people... Well, OGs will tell us about Doc Gooden, right? And having players like that that have really set that... Or Ken Griffey Jr., like, on the bank side of the ball. Those kind of players aren't playing baseball right now because the top-level athletes, and specifically top-level people of color athletes, are not going into basketball or football. And the NBA has always done a better job... At, at promoting their players, and that was all behind David Stern. Well, what bigger, what bigger thing you got than Kyle Murray there? You know? I was going to remember David Stern, the marketing. Because you remember when he took over, you know, late 70s, 80s basketball was a lot of people. Cocaine, the fighting, and it was just kind of seen as, not dirty, but... The bad boy. You know, it was yeah. like the bad boy league. It was, um... It was, cause now it's the prestigious league, NBA. There's no anyone. I would argue, no one's going to argue that NBA is not the top league. It's right. not saying it makes more money than NFL or baseball, but as far as marketing, they have, you know what I mean. And look at the storylines, uh, the yeah, rivalries. Exactly. Throughout David, David Stern's era, he knew this. He was like, 
we have to get Magic and Bird, Magic and Bird, Magic and Bird. Mm. We gotta see this. And then that segues into Bad Boys. We gotta, Jordan, see, we gotta yeah. get Bad Boys. We gotta get Bad Boys. We gotta get Bad Boys. And then it was Michael Jordan era. It's like it's just a seamless transition of working in the game. And, and it's like, and and it's like other sports don't always do that. No. Right? And you, you might not get the opportunity of it, right? You might you know, football might flex the game to get certain guys in the field, but like it doesn't happen as much as it should. Sure. David Stern made it happen. David Stern also also will have a little controversy on this side though as well. I'm saying anything negative about Chris Cousins. The guy's dying. He stopped Chris Paul from going to the Lakers, guys. Thank you, Mr. David Stern. That's a Chicago Bulls fan. He did what was right. I think that was we don't, right. I, I, let's go into it. Let's go into personal <laughs> opinion. He did he did what had to be done. I mean there was too much just bullshit, specifically back in that time. And you see, and there's certain franchises, in regardless of sports, that always seem to have a deal work out for them and seem to have an institutional advantage. And at that time, the Lakers were just coming off of institutionally getting advantage and but this is getting, this getting, getting, getting Paul Gasol. Well, sometimes, and this say, is, like, demonstrating great leadership, is to have the man step in and be like, I'm not going to allow the league to just be holden to one organization. And that was what happened. So it may not be. I don't well, care if it is or is seventeen banners. David Stern probably wouldn't have let that happen. Well, it happened. I remember. And they, and they, and they asked David Stern, "What's your ideal finals?" And he had said, "The Lakers versus the Lakers." You guys remember that? No. Because through all this, he was about making the game of basketball bigger, yeah. more eyes on it, in whatever way that was. But to see that at towards because that was towards the end of his reign, you know, mid. Yeah, it was right. No, it was right. Yeah, run, yeah. For him yeah, to yeah. still stop it and yeah, say, no, you guys ball. can have Chris Paul. Yeah. You know, it showed that even though he wants the money for this and that and that, that it's still about basketball in the game. I wonder what he would have, uh, you know, the question that was been asked to Adam Silver is like, what are you going to do, about, do about, 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 about the Warriors, right? Yeah. And what would, have, would he have stepped oh, in? And, oh. and the answer is no. And I think I don't, it's different, right? That There's no way. Where would trade, he have trades, and, trades are different things. Yeah. And free agency signing and draft signing. Where would so he have stepped war- in on the Warriors? The Warriors were a tad more organic, and they were just in an amazing situation to do that. So they had amazing ownership. Yeah. They, yeah. They're hands, hands down to the But, yeah, I, I, I think that, um, obviously, by this take, you can see we're all huge basketball fans, uh, and that David Stern has definitely made that possible because yeah. how else are three people with three different childhoods all going to get super involved in this game and remember yeah. all those 90s moments that we're all talking about. Yeah. yeah. You don't talk about NFL 90 moments Yeah, like this. Yeah. What's Barry Sanders' best run? Exactly. I don't know. Exactly. But I could break down every Michael Jordan. I could break down Larry. The, you know what I mean? Even teams like the Phoenix Suns. Why was the Grant Hill jersey so popular? Yes. And like, uh, and, and like yeah. what, Penny Hardaway's commercials, right? Yeah. It's like because he understood exactly. that it was bigger than the game. Yes. There's yeah. no football player we talk about like Penny Hardaway. And no one, no other. Like, he's not champion. Roger so Goodell. Yeah. Roger yeah. People hate Roger Goodell. He doesn't understand no that. Talk. And it's a little different because NBA, you guaranteed your money. Yeah. But no one messes yeah. with Roger Goodell. Um, so it's definitely just, I mean, um, a big world loss. Class, world class. You know, you know, big props to Adam Silver for yeah. trying to find a way to take the next step to continue yeah. the goal. Those, 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 those are big shirts. Sure, they're almost opposites yeah. a little bit. No, nah, they're opposites. Yeah, Adam Silver is yeah. such a... Not to get too... But, you know, so, so when... Stern got into it. Everyone was buying their teams for ten million or less. So when he got these TV deals and marketing deals, yeah, he they tripled and quadrupled their money right away. Yeah. So they owed a debt to him. They respected him. But now these new guys, their money's you know what I mean. Yeah. So they're like so so fluid. Cut us in this and that. Yeah. So that's why you know he got. Well, hey man, you're talking about a different age. And era. Exactly. So you're so talking about like, Instagram. You're talking about. Yeah. I mean, um, China but, being a big factor in the NBA yeah. wouldn't have happened without David Stern. No. Putting Kobe all the way out there, you know, Kobe was a big, Kobe and um, Michael Jordan, actually, Kobe and Michael, both big in the Asian market, and now a lot of people go there, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Derrick Rose, like, I mean, and that is all thanks to Mr. Stern, you know. The the G League, that's all him, WNBA, we didn't get into that, exactly. We didn't get so into much, that, but, uh, but he's done so much yeah. for the game. Man beyond his time, will be missed. Um, definitely done a lot and a, a drill trailblazer in the sport of basketball. Yeah. Yeah. Can yeah. said better, Oscar. Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you for Peace sports out. online. Subscribe. We're going to keep. Yeah. Comment, and... like, subscribe, share. 
everybody, if you just show this to one friend, that would do it. a lot for us. Really? Yeah. I have no friends, so that's going to be tough for me. <laughs> he does. We're all friends. 